Welcome to Thaddeus Blake's Pulp Poetry and Rotten Rhymes. Some crooks are pretty sneaky. Some you'll never see. Others pick your pocket while you watch them on TV. This is the story of a very bad man and a little old lady. There's a little old lady you've probably met. She's widowed and weary, but isn't done yet. She's still pretty sharp, though she'll worry and fret over small, silly things that she'll sometimes forget. There's a little old lady you probably know. In winter, a neighbor will shovel her snow. When the summertime comes and her grass starts to grow, that same neighbor comes and he gives it a mow. Up in the morning, before nine o'clock, that little old lady on Sunday will walk down to the church at the end of the block, meeting with friends where they'll hug and they'll talk. Here will the pastor give guidance and glory, uplifting spirits while telling a story, discharging verses with bold auditory, prepping the people for God's territory. This little old lady is so full of love, praising the Lord and the things he speaks of. She'll sing of the lamb and she'll sing of the dove. She'll sing with the choir to heaven above. On her way home, she'll be feeling just fine, thinking of he who turned water to wine. Riding a high, she's on top of cloud nine, fixed like an addict on all things divine. Later that week, she'll be cooking and baking singing her hymns while her hands go on making. Suddenly tripping, she's surely not faking, crying in pain as her hip takes to breaking. Back from the hospital, slightly depressed, given some pills for the hip that she messed, told by physicians to stay there and rest, well, that's what you'll do, because doctor knows best. Family and friends will visit her here. Grandkids and neighbors will often appear. Lifting her hope as they act full of cheer. Helping her cope with her pain and her fear. But now it is Sunday, and sadly, she's staying here on the couch where she's restlessly laying. Out of the church where her friends are all praying, longing to hear what the pastor is saying. Feeling the pain of her lonely exile, finding the boredom too much of a trial. She'll just turn on the TV for a while, hoping some program might Give her a smile. Quite unexpected, and to her delight, she clicks on a program that feels just right. A church and a choir. Oh, what a delight. Singing of God and his glory and might. It's quite a lot bigger than her congregation. This crowd is so huge, like its very own nation. Thousands of people in stark dedication, giving their all for the Lord of creation. 
Here comes the pastor, a colorful guy, handsome and charming and witty and spry, dressed to the nines in a suit and a tie, gold on his fingers, a gleam in his eye. He's given a sermon that's got them all reeling, his tone so dramatic it's raising the ceiling, blaring out scripture, such passion and feeling, this kind of worship is truly appealing. Now comes a change-up, a total surprise. It's time, says the pastor, for cripples to rise, for blind folk to see with a new pair of eyes. The deaf ones shall hear while the dumb vocalize. Forming a lineup, the wounded and lame wait for the pastor to call out their name. He shall lay hands on them, he shall proclaim mercy and healing, for which they all came. One at a time they are touched by his power, potent and pure, like an opium flower. For he is the man of the miracle hour, casting out demons and making them cower. Before he is done, he will offer a deal. A sanctified bargain, it's truly a steal. So cheap that it's almost too good to be real. The hungry shall feed, the afflicted shall heal. Our little old lady at home in frustration has found in this program renewed inspiration. This man has a license to offer salvation. <laughs> Patch up her wound for a tiny donation. She's over her worries with hardly a care. He's offered her hope in her time of despair. She'll send him a check in exchange for a prayer. A tenth of her pension with him she will share. Weeks will go by and each Sunday she's sending checks to the man who can get her hip mending. Sure she'll be cured by the money she's spending, happy to pay for a debt never ending. Then one day it happens, amazingly so. Her name is called out by the man on the show. He tells her to send just a little more dough, just so the blessing will know where to go. After she sent him a couple of grand, the man with the power of God in his hand closes his eyes as he gives the command, calls out her name and he tells her to stand. Back in the hospital, tucked in a bed, she thought she could stand, but she fell down instead. They tell her she's lucky she didn't get dead. Her hip was so feeble, she fell on her head. Those who get rich on the faith of the sheep, the slimiest scum from the slimiest deep, should all have to prove their own faith with a leap back into the slime pit from out which they creep. There's a little old lady who's just gotten wise to the criminal bastard who told her to rise. Her hip will get well, and she's opened her eyes to the devil dressed up in the pastor disguise. Well, if you enjoyed that, give it a like. Hope to do this again real soon, and until then, take care and God bless. This recital was yanked from the poetry collection 
an outlaw named Jesus, offensively blasphemous poetry by Thaddeus Blake. Available at Amazon, Freezing Press, in hardcover, softcover, and Kindle edition.